I'm Coyote Peterson. Recently, I ran into a species of ant with a bite so powerful, it's capable of breaking through human skin. You don't believe me? Watch this. One, two, three. Ah! 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 Yep, definitely breaking through the skin there. Oh, it's like little razor blades. Ah! Yeah, he's popping holes into my finger. Ah! Oh yeah, that hurts. He's got me good right there. Ah! Ah, look, he's burning his head into my finger! Ah! 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 Oh, yikes. Yeah, that hurt. All right, Coyote, yikes, that leaf cutter ant, that was something. But what people at home might not know is that was actually not the first time you were bitten by that ant, was it? No, no, it was not. Now, when we arrived in Costa Rica, we were told by all the locals that when you're out there looking for creatures, whatever you do, make sure to avoid leaf cutter ants. I said to myself, leaf cutter ants? I didn't even know you guys had leaf cutter ants. Do they bite and sting? And they said, no, 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 no. They don't sting, they only bite. And the bite is so powerful, it can break through human skin. Knowing me, the first thing that I think is, I gotta see if this is really true. So as we're out there walking through the rainforest, we finally came across a track of leaf cutters. Found some workers, found some soldiers. Mark said, okay, here's the ants. Let's catch one and let's do the scene. So I pick up an ant. You guys ready? I'm ready. Wait, wait, where are you gonna let them bite you? <sighs> right there on the crux of my hand. Hold up my hand like this, put it right there and let it start chomping. And it's chomping and it's chomping. And it's not breaking skin. Even with all that power and that pinch, ow, that really, really hurts. I don't think he's gonna be able to break skin. We're thinking, okay, it's just a myth. Leaf cutter ants can't really cut through human skin. Ah, there we go. How's that feel? Wow, ah, feels good to have it off of my hand. Well, there you go. Finally, an ant challenge where I'm walking away, mostly unscathed. Well, as we're heading back to our base camp, we come upon the nest. All right, well, we have found the nest. Watch your feet. Look at how many of these monster-sized leaf cutters are coming out. They are sending out the troops right now. What you didn't see is me wandering into the nest at first and being like, holy cow, these ants are everywhere. And just for fun, I pick up another ant, put it on my finger, and boom, immediately it cuts through the skin. Those things are monster. Ow, ooh, yeah, ow, bite me there. Oh, jeez, ah. That one definitely popped right through the skin. Look at that. Holy cow. Now the footage that you're looking at here, this is me holding up my finger and you can see all the blood running down. Now you didn't see this in the episode because we weren't ready to actually shoot the scene a second time. I didn't think he was gonna bite me that hard. The one that we were working with for the scene didn't break skin. Uh, an angry one is definitely capable of breaking skin. But what should we do? Should we shoot that again? I think we have to. Like right here? Yeah. <laughs> so, like a good director, Mark says, cut, 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 back to one, we gotta shoot this scene again. Now at this point, I'm pretty nervous because I'm thinking to myself, oh boy, that ant just massacred my finger in one single chomp, and now we wanna actually put an ant on my finger and let it do its thing. So, what you did see is Mark, Mario, and I heading back into the nest, and this is where all the ants were swarming out. Mark's getting bitten, Mario's getting bitten, and finally, I get a large, angry soldier come back into the scene, sit down, put up my finger, and place the ant right there. And it was painful. Now, I did last more than 60 seconds, and I had to last more than 60 seconds so that we could get all of the shots. Shooting these episodes is pretty tough because there's multiple cameras going, and we have to make sure that we get the coolest shots so that you guys can enjoy the episode. In total, I was really chomped by this leaf cutter ant for probably about two and a half minutes. Now that also includes once the video cameras stop rolling and we get out the still cameras to get that cool shot, you know, that's the screen grab there on the YouTube video of me like this, ah, of an ant on my finger. A lot of pain to go through just to get that single frame, but it was totally worth it because ultimately we proved the myth to be true. The leaf cutter ant is capable of chomping through human skin. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild, We'll see you next week. Whoa, 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 what about the million subs? Oh, yes! Sorry, I get so excited about those ants.
Coyote Pack, we have made it to a million subscribers on YouTube. How cool is that? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. Now, on behalf of myself and the entire Brave Wilderness team, I just want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you out there who's watching our shows. We couldn't do this without you. It's you guys that keep us out here in the field, making these awesome adventures, and getting you up close with animals. Whether it's Breaking Trail, Dragon Tales, Coyote's Backyard, or a new series that's about to come out this summer, Beyond the Tide, stay tuned for that. We couldn't do it without each and every one of you. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for being such an awesome member of the Coyote Pack. All right, that's it for me. We'll see you guys next week. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look, make sure to go back and watch the full Ant Attack. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Ow!